acknowledge that it's a never-ending effort to keep the buildings in good shape, keep them operating well. So uh, we're renovating three dormitories this summer. Sadler Hall, which is right over here to our south. Um, Shaw Hall, which is over on Comstock Avenue. It's been in construction for a year now. As you can see, the steel is topped out. They're pouring the final concrete floor slabs. And we've started the enclosure of the building. Uh, and our goal is to have it completely enclosed by this winter so that they can continue working inside the building and it will finish up and we'll open the doors next summer. That's a combination of planned utility uh, improvements and corrections that need to be made, but we also try to time it so that we can upgrade the paving and the sidewalks and the landscaping at the same time. The last thing we would want to do is upgrade the surface treatments and then dig it up two years later to fix a broken pipe. So we try to time those things together. The campus is always busy, um, and besides the academic semesters, the summer is a period where there are a lot of summer programs here as well, but fortunately there are a few lulls. Right after commencement, we can typically do quite a bit of work before the first summer program starts. We're, we believe we're on the, the, the verge of breaking ground for that building this summer, and that'll be a great addition um, to the campus, which will free up some space in the Shine Student Center. So that bookstore and fitness center project is a key piece to that student life here at, at the university. It's a big campus, and uh, it's us trying to be the best we can be.